Hey everybody, today we are going to look at the appointment booking uh, schedule, uh, module in our system. So let's uh, click on the appointment booking module. Um, first thing you're going to have to do is uh, set up services. Um, actually set up employees I think would be the first thing you got to do. So let's add an employee here. Um, let's go uh, John Doe. Uh, you can put any kind of notes in here. You know, you want uh, uh, Greg what he does. Uh, his email address, or, so it would be john, john at gmail.com. And when you check this box, a an email will be sent to this address when a booking is made for him. Uh, you can put a password in here, one, two, three. Uh, his, um, his phone number. Okay, uh, if you want to get uh, an SMS uh, to, to that number as well, you're able to check that box. The SMS uh, you have to set up uh, and you have to get us to do that for you. Uh, and again, remember the SMS you have to pay for the credit. So I'm going to leave that unchecked for right now. Um, services are unknown yet because we didn't set them up. I probably should have set that up first. You can choose an, uh, an, uh, an image of, uh, of uh, your employee there as well. Let's see if I've got one here. Uh, let's choose uh, this lovely face. Uh, active, the status is active, and save. So now you have an employee. Um, let's go back to the services tab for a second. Let's set up a couple of services uh, because you should actually have that set up first. So let's uh, let's assume this is a hair salon. We're going to do a um, haircut. Again, you can be much more descriptive here, you know, what you're offering. I'm just going to be quick here. Um, the price is uh, dollars it's in euros right now I'm, I'm gonna change that in a second I'll show you where I change it to change that if you have an image of the uh, of the service you provide you can upload that as well uh, the time it's gonna take you to pro uh, pro provide that service you can put that there how much time you need before and after uh, to prepare for another um, another appointment what which is about five minutes on each side uh, and the status choose active uh, and then you can also select all your employees here so you can add them either way so let's go hit save. We've added a uh, service now. I'm just going to show you here. Go to the options tab here. Let's go and change this to US dollars. And you can also change your, uh, your date format, your time format, uh, you know, these other items here as well. So I will save that. Uh, back to services. Uh, we've added one. Let's add one more. Let's put a color here. Color here. Again, you can be as descriptive as you want. Let's just put uh, $95 for the hair color, and we'll put uh, 60 minutes here. Again, five minutes on each side. Give the uh, ballot some time. Choose the status active, and select. You can select all of your employees. How many other employees you have here will be populated, uh, and hit save. So now we've got a couple of uh, couple of services, and you've now also seen how to add an employee. Uh, let's take a quick look at the, uh, the booking side here. Uh, there are no bookings, so that's easy. Um, the dashboard here will, will populate with, uh, with all the bookings you have for this, uh, uh, for this day. Uh, you, can, you, can, you can check on any day you want. You just move it over and it will check today and tomorrow is shown here. Uh, you're also able to print this. And if you've got more than one employee, they'll be listed. Uh, here, I'll show you how that looks over here. So let's just add one more employee. Let's go, James. Let's go. I'm not going to add anything here. Just, just keep this moving. Gmail.com. Uh, no phone number. Check all for the uh, services that she provides. Active. Choose an image. Again, we'll choose the same image. Save. Oh, we need to add a phone number. So let's add a phone number. Save. And away you go. Now we've got them saved. Again, you go to your dashboard, and now you see both your employees. So the more employees you have, the more will populate on, this, on the screen. And you'll be able to go back, uh, back and forth. Uh, one more thing you want to go and set up your, uh, your, in your options. Uh, this is some general information here. Uh, you can set up your time zone, first day of the week. Uh, your bookings, um, this is pretty uh, self-explanatory. Um, 
default status or book date to pay to pay we're going to go to default to confirm so we're able to take payments through the app uh someone's book making a booking they can pay through the app and if they pay the book will be confirmed uh, you can also put uh, a default status for booking if it's not paid uh, we've put pending here but if you want to just take all bookings it's confirmed that'll that'll be uh that can be done right here as well so let's just put uh, confirmed here uh, and then over here, you're asking, it's asking you to accept bookings X amount of hours before an appointment start time. So let's say it's 12 noon right now, and um, somebody wants to make an appointment for one o'clock. Uh, if you've got this set at two, they won't be able to do that because you're saying that you're, you need uh, two hours notice. So you can bring that down to one or even to, to zero. You can book immediately. So let's just leave it at one. So this, uh, in this case, you're gonna need at least one hour booking time. Um, Clients can cancel a booking up to two hours prior to the start of that time, so you can put that there as well. And bookings accepted for how many days? You can go 60 days in advance. Uh, again, you can change these uh, at your discretion. Uh, so hit save, and then you can go to the time, the open time that you guys are open. Uh, it becomes, I think, pre populated here. So uh, if you have a day off, this could be your day off, it will take it off your, off your uh, schedule. Uh, and then again, your open time, your close time, if you've got a lunch period from from two, um, and that's it. And then this will update the default working time for all employees. Okay. Um, your invoices. Uh, these are invoices that are sent to your employees via the app if they're paying for a service. Um, right. Yeah. You can upload a logo here, uh, your company name, you know, address, all that kind of stuff. You fill that all out. That's what that's for. Uh, your options here. You're able to accept payments. Uh, PayPal, Authorized Debt, Net, uh, a couple other processes we have here. Uh, we're not shipping anything in this, in this example, so we don't need to check that. And that's it there. Uh, we've got a template here um, that will allow you to uh, configure uh, a message uh, for your invoices. Uh, all of these placeholders are unique uh, to your customers, so if you copy and pasted anything into, into the body of the email, for example, they're one here for name. Let's just check one out here. Sorry, uh, let me get up our, Here is the name placeholder. So if you were to copy that, and paste that into your window here, it will pull the name from from the uh, customer list. So if John's name was in, in the list. It would say John. Uh, you know, thank you for your business. Uh, you know, whatever you want to put into uh, the body of your uh, invoice message. And there's a bunch of different uh, information here. You can do the same thing, copy and paste it into your message. Uh, and essentially, that's it. You've now set up your, your bookings table. Um, thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day.